Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel with beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Thank you for stopping by. I just want to tell you to please, uh, or ask you to please go watch the previous video about meshes before you continue with this one, because this is the continuation of that one. And also watch the previous, the actual previous video uh, in the whole playlist, because uh, it's about fixing the faulty variables and the faulty mul uh, multiplication in... Uh, in the fragment shader and some stuff in main so we've changed a little bit all of these calculations kind of just uh, turn them around and I also change the normals from minus one to one so we switch that around so I explain everything in that video please go watch that if you can and it will and just change your code and you should be fine uh, what we're gonna do today right now is my idea right now is to kind of optimize this a little more the mesh class to remove these vertices and all the duplicate data and uh, and then kind of remove stuff from main and all that stuff and then later I'm gonna try to uh, try to make the game class and stuff like that so we're gonna make a few classes and stuff but in this video I think we're just gonna optimize the mesh class make sure it's nice and tidy before we keep uh, going further on so what I want you to do step number one is I want you to take this init vertex data function. We're going to remove the whole thing, but just make sure you copy these parameters in here and then just go ahead and remove the whole function. And you're like, what the hell? Why did we even make it? It was a good step towards what we want to do now. And then remove the two private uh, vectors as well, because all we're going to need is an unsigned number of vertices and then an unsigned number of indices that's all we're gonna need okay so just make sure you do that and you copy those parameters po paste them in here paste them in init VAO so vertex array all, all of these things uh, create VAO is a comment there you want to have and then um, set um, set variables so this number of vertices equals to number of vertices this number of indices equals number of indices because these are kind of things we want to keep track of but we don't need all the duplicate data from um, from from the whole array so all of the indices and vertices we don't need those because essentially what this function does is copy over data from the CPU memory to the GPU memory alright so we're just copying things over and once we have done that we don't need to keep all of these vertices and stuff at least not for our purpose here if you need to keep things if you need to get vertices and change them and stuff like that uh, you can do that if you're not doing that in shaders for all, for those of you who already know OpenGL a little bit uh, you might want to keep them sometimes but uh, for this reason no I don't want to keep them um, so instead of this vertices dot size I'm just gonna say uh, this number of vertices and here I'm gonna write vertex array like that so see how we're using the temporary array to to do all this and then same thing here this number of indices and then index array boom easy peasy so there we're done with this function basically don't have to do anything more it's done um, and then in it model matrix is fine update uniforms is fine uh, here we need to remove this whole function we need to copy just before you do that copy all of these and put them in here and then remove it boom so we have one less function to worry about and at the bottom instead in the render instead of this indices dot size just say this number of indices boom so everything is green. If you run it now, it should be fine. You shouldn't have any issues. You should see both your cats. Yep. See how the data is still on the graphics card? So you don't need to have it on the CPU as well. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, am I even recording right now? Yep. Okay. So we're good. Now, what is the next step? I want to make another function here. Void update model matrix. Okay. And all we're going to do in this one is we're gonna take these and we're gonna kind of post them in here so it's gonna reset it and it's gonna update it and we're gonna send this 
to the graphics card every time we're gonna update it and send it so update model matrix there you go so in that way we can uh, we can set it as we want mm, another thing that we'd want to do is actually we don't need this initializer function at all I'm just gonna copy this this is also something I did wrong in the last video. So let's remove the whole initializer function and we'll just keep the update function for now. Uh, there we go. Uh, so we have update uniforms. I'm just gonna say this update model matrix, okay? And in here, in the mesh class, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, I'm gonna copy, no, I'm not gonna copy paste. I'm gonna say GLM glm vec3 position equals glm vec3 uh, 0.f glm vec3 uh, rotation equals glm vec3 0.f and then glm vec3 scale equals glm vec3 1.f okay so we'll create objects, we'll create stuff and objects uh, depending on, we'll put that in the end actually because you can't have it first. Uh, we'll put that in the end right there, there you go. Okay, so this will help us to kind of give them default values. We don't have to create an object with a position, rotation and scale, but what we do have to do is uh, uh, or if we want to, I mean, we can. So we can create a uh, object that a position with a rotation and a scale just through the constructor. So that's a good way to good way to do it. So that's that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm just going to paste all of this that I did equals position equals rotation and equals scale. So right through here, right from the constructor. I can change these values and that's a good thing to have so there you go we initialized it we updated the model matrix with these new positions and we close it so the same thing is going to be done here update the model matrix and send them in no problems boom now if I run this we shouldn't have a problem with our different other cat um, what's the problem excuse me what's the problem Redefinition formal parameter position. Um, excuse me, what? Oh, oh, my bad. My bad, my bad. What am I doing? Why do you watch my videos? Why do you even watch my tutorials? This is great because, yeah, it's great. Um, and then we run it and we have a cat, beautiful cat, boom. Now say in our main, Let's go into our main now and say that we created our little cat here somewhere here with another type of position. So uh, glm vec3 0.f or not the position, let me see the scale and glm vec3 um, 0.f glm vec3 uh, 2.f so double the scale okay and we run this and we should have a huge cat with double the scale right here okay no problems same way you can change rotation you can change things like that if you want uh, let's rotate it to 10 degrees in every every way possible see boom it's rotated just like that no problems see so that's some fun things you can do just from the constructor itself um, okay so mesh is a little more optimized now a little better now the next thing we want to do is a little tedious no I don't want this video to be too long but I want to finish this in this video so in your public part here uh, functions that's our functions accessors Modifier. So we want to create a few, a uh, few functions. Void, set, position, 
like this glm vec3 const glm vec3 position uh, just like this and uh, this position equals position like this let's see so you set the position and that should be fine then in the upcoming videos I'm gonna add move as well so you can move it a little bit and won't reset the position all the time or no I'll do that now actually set position and I'll actually have that in the functions I'll just call it move a position so instead of equals position I'm just gonna say plus equals position and that should be fine so that's your move and then we're gonna have set rotation and rotate and scale up scale down and stuff like that so let's just quickly do that set rotation rotation equals rotation and then we're gonna have a function called rotate so I hope you can see what I'm doing here uh, rotation like this and in, th in this one you want to have if this rotation dot x is greater than 360 degrees um, you want to set it to this rotation dot x equals um well you know what we'll just leave that alone I'll, I'll do that a little later i don't want to save some time in this video whatever as uh, scale um scale scale and scale and then plus equals so this will scale something scale this will uh, scale something and add it to the current scale same thing with rotation add it to the rotation and move the position will be added now what I need is one more function called set scale set scale and then scale and scale see how tedious this is but it will help us out a lot so these are the functions we created don't forget the plus equals here and just equals here so this will set them and this will add to them um, so you go and obviously I hope you can see that if you have a negative value here it will subtract even though I'm adding so we don't need to make two functions for actually subtracting and adding uh, so yeah this should be fine there we go there we go so the way we're gonna test this is really beautiful so we've come to a point where it's time for us to say bye bye to something we hold very dear and near to our hearts this whole thing right here okay we're gonna keep the textures but we're gonna remove this whole thing right here um, and all of this matrix thing and we'll keep the camera we'll remove the matrix thingy the model matrix and we will remove this and instead of updating input here let's go up to update input let's see how that looks update input Mm, 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 mm. There we go, update input. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. We'll just for now we'll just say mesh um mesh like that. And we'll say because mm, 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 mm. oh, this is Z mesh dot set mesh dot move I guess um, GLM back three and then that's the Z so 0 0.f 0 0.f minus 0 0.01f just set like that and we'll just copy paste this everywhere 
plus this will be the x so the first one minus 0 0.01 and then 0 0.f and the z uh, and this is plus and for y we don't have any y yet this is rotation and scale so before we before we do that let's just make sure uh, move works and then to end the video I'll add all these things in the end so let's just do that uh, position Z let's remove that let's just send in mesh here like that and test I think it's called and then we will remove this and remove that update the buffer update frame update frame buffer size and projection matrix or perspective matrix whatever you want to call it use the program bind all this stuff bind this VAO we don't need to do that we don't need to draw this and we'll just bind the textures because that's important and then we'll render test so let's see there's some errors still scale let's see what happened the scale uh, 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 oh okay um, scale we'll just call it scale up something like that uh, and then we'll run it again hopefully this is gonna work yep that's working fine so we can't rotate it here but we can we can move it around so no big problems there alright perfect so now now that we know that that's working we're going to we're going to just finish off the last thingies so we're gonna say mesh dot we can just paste that I think instead of move say rotate and the Y so the Y is here minus 1 minus 1 and then 0 0.f like that. Copy this. And plus one in the Y. Boom. Now, if we s use the Z thingy, we can scale it. Scale. Scale up. And the Z, right? Let's see what it said. Scale. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? There we go. So one on everything. So I'll just do uh, 1.f and then we will do scale here as well. Scale up and mesh that scale up minus one. So this video is too long now. Hopefully this will work. Everything's fine. And then we can continue in the next one. So that's rotate, rotating it. No problems. Z. Oh, shice. That's crazy. So Z is kind of scaling it up for us. No issues there. <laughs> Looking great. All right. <clears throat> Perfect. There you go, guys and girls. So we removed that annoying big fat piece of code. And we replaced it with a mesh object. Textures are still here. We'll fix that in the next video. Camera, everything's still here. We'll fix that later as well. But for now, thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something in this video. Go ahead and check out the code. Uh, if you're unsure how what I did, you can ask me a question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as well as I can. And we have some really good OpenGL people here uh, that can help you out as well in the comments. So yeah, thank you everyone for sticking with me. Hope you learned something. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right, bye bye.